Hello YouTube, what is up? Connor Brooks here with another video for you. Today we are going to be doing the third HO scale fictional RF&P showcase, this time with RF&P 4611, X Missouri Pacific, X Union Pacific. Um, this one is definitely um, my most interesting one. Um, unlike the rest of them where each side is the same, this one has two different sides, um, as prototypical patchwork um, normally does. Um, so yeah, let's get right on into it. And here she is in all her pride and glory. So, the first noticeable thing is kind of a messy looking paint job. And I actually did this on purpose to make it look like they kind of just sprayed over the Missouri Pacific, because Union Pacific had already patched this locomotive, because it said Missouri Pacific, but they had their Union Pacific logos, which I scratched away and put RF and P. Excuse me. Um, so anyway, now it says RF and P. Um, I did re I ended up renumbering this one for the blue 4611 instead of keeping the um, old Union Pacific um, red. And I decided not to renumber this one only because I did not want to deal with number boards because I really don't know how to deal with number boards. So there's nothing on the back. That's just what, the what was there. Um, the only thing new that I added to this locomotive was um, this, I believe it is a Nathan M5 air horn. Um, just most RF&P locomotives, um, like their F7s and whatnot, had horns like this, so I just thought I'd add it, and it looks pretty cool. So this side, you can see, is different. Still has the same front or side, I guess. Um, that is some super glue work that I ended up messing up because the um, handrail in the process of this broke. But that's okay. You can't really notice it. It's just because the light is on it. I did forget to show you the front. Um, this is the front. Uh, it's got the RF&P uh, round logo over there. So anyway, back here. This actually was a mistake on my part, but I ended up I ended up actually really liking the result. Um, what happened was, is this was the first side I did. So I stripped half of it, or actually I stripped all of the Missouri Pacific. And what I was going to do was I was just going to um, put the RF&P over top of it. But you could still kind of see um, the uh, Missouri Pacific. So I put some blue, I put some uh, masking tape up here and down here, and kind of just uh, stenciled this in over there. Um, the problem was, is, um, I forgot, I didn't put any clear coat over the masking tape, so there was nothing actually masking it, so the paint ended up just dripping down the crevices. When I ripped it off, it gave me a nice thing, but it was kind of all over the place, and I did not really like it. So I ended up painting over that, so that it just looks like a giant blue blob. And at first, I was like, maybe no, but now that it runs around the layout, I actually really like it, and I think it's pretty you know, prototypical of what a short line would do, um, you know, painting over the stuff and just putting their logo on it. So, this has been the HO Scale Fictional RF&P Showcase for RF&P 4611. Thank you guys so much for choosing my channel. Stay tuned for part four that is coming out tomorrow and a layout update that is coming out soon. All right, thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.